It's the Real Talk Show with Barbara S. Brown. Oh, what you say now? It's the Real Talk Show with Barbara S. Brown. Man, I ain't got nothing but real talk for you. It's the Real Talk Show with Barbara S. Brown. Hold up, man, we got to start the show. It's the Real Talk Show. Hello and welcome to Real Talk with R.S. Brown. I am R.S. Brown. I am here at Sweet Moments Cafe drinking on my famous, I love it, bubble tea. But today on the show, we're going to have uh, some authors for you. You know I like to have a good read. So I'm going to share some of my good reads with you. Okay, how about that? We're going to have all that coming. And then at the end of the show, we're going to have a nice tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King. That's right, Dr. Martin Luther King um, and some of the things that he's done. We got a chance to partner up with the NAACP who had the gala in the parade. So we're going to give you some footage of all of that and more right here on Real Talk with R.S. Brown. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. Kendrick's Clearing and Holly. We are located at 1247 New Savannah Road, Augusta, Georgia. We do land and lot clearing, demolition, and roll-off rental. We are still doing the job right. 35 years. You can reach us at 706-722-4409. Again, it's 706-722-4409. A Brighter Beginning Child Care Center, located at 3423C Deans Bridge Road, where your children have a brighter beginning. You can contact us at 706-793-9776. Sweet Moments Cafe, your one-stop shop for bubble tea, smoothie, Thai roll ice cream, wraps, and more. We have a student discount on Wednesdays, veterans discount every day, and bring your church bulletins for a discount on Sundays. We do catering, events, and parties. Visit us today at 106 Pleasant Home Road, Augusta, Georgia. I love Sweet Moments Cafe. It has the best rolled ice cream ever. Introducing the all-new Jamaican Me Happy Restaurant, 3213 Westboro Road, Augusta. Stop by today for some of the best oxtails, jerk and curry chicken, along with a variety of pork, goat, and fish dishes. We also offer a colorful selection of side dishes, soups, salads, desserts, and Jamaican beverages. Don't miss our $5 curry chicken special every Monday and Wednesday from 2 until 5 p.m. Visit AugustaJamaicanFood.com and call and place your order ahead at 706-739-5789. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. All right, let's get started. Let's get started right here. Now, I told you guys, now today I'm going to do some authors today. Uh, and what way to start it with this amazing book right here. And it's entitled Sex, Love, Money, Then God. Sex, Love, Money, Then then God. I'm here with Betty Jones and uh, I tell you, uh, where in the world did you get the title of this book? I got it from God. I was just sitting one day and I was having issues with my marriage and everything and I was going through a whole lot and God said, write your own book. Oh wow. I was like, whoa, okay Jesus, write my own book. And then I was like, okay, what are we going to write about? He said, you're going to write about what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And that's sex and love and money. And I was like, okay, so what we gonna name the book? He said, that's what you gonna name it. Oh. Sex, love, money, mm -hmm. and who's talking to you? God, so uh, that's how I go about. Uh -huh. now, 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 sex, money, it would, tell us about the book first. You know, tell us about this, this book. Um, the, the setting is we sitting there and, and we're going, um, a bunch of ladies, you know, we go to a sewing class and, and they, when they come to the sewing class, they, there's two older ladies teaching the younger ladies how to sew. And in the midst of the sewing, then that's when they're talking about the issues that they're going through in life. Mm. And the issues that they're going through in life is the same issues at the title of the book. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, I just sipped my bubble tea to that. Yes, this mm. is so good. Yeah, that's, this is a sweet moment. We happen to be here at Sweet Moments. And I mean, if you want to know my favorite, it's short PSA. <laughs> you want to know my favorite? The Honeydew Bubble Tea. Honeydew Bubble Tea. This anyway, now, uh, so so I, I'm just, I mean, I don't know where to start at with this book. Um, I, I, you just, it's so many amazing parts of this book. But I see one here where um, 
y'all were in the soaring club and somebody asked you, you know, where's your husband? And you were looking sad and, you know, he didn't come home at night. And, you know, so you have things like that in the book that you talk about. Uh, tell us about that story. Well, at that point, you know, me and my husband had just got back together and I wasn't really expecting him to come home. Mm -hmm. And that's where the issues had started. He had stopped coming home. Mm. He would go to work. Mm. And instead of coming home, mm -hmm. he would go someplace else. Oh, wow. And so that's why I was looking sad. So I'm like, okay, I want to, going to come home. And so that was when the, when the young lady asked me where was my husband, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, 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 I guess I'm going to just have to lie. Mm -hmm. Well, he's on his way home or he's at work. So, so uh, this book is more so um, like a relationship book, huh? Mm -hmm. What's to kind of help you through those relationships, you know? Yes. And and I like the title, Sex, Love, Money, and Then God. Uh, you said, you see, we were talking off stage that, you know, God usually comes last, you know, when it comes to these three things. And I, I really think that is true, true, you yes. know? Yes. So how how do you overcome something like that? You know, just overcoming God being the last person in your life. You know, they're putting Him first. We always say He first, but I think you said well, He's a well, He's a He's the first last person. He's I believe the first last uh, person. So tell how can we <laughs> put Him first first? You know, well, I don't know how you're gonna put Him first first, but mm -hmm. in the, in the, from from my experience, in order to put Him first first first, you got to know God. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to know who God is. Mm -hmm. You got to have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And when you know God and you got a relationship with Him, you won't be seeking these these things, mm -hmm. which is sex and mm -hmm. love and money. Mm -hmm. You won't be seeking these things because you got a relationship with God. You are made mm -hmm. whole. Yeah. But when we're not made whole, then we're seeking those things in life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are either finding, we are either using money for a solution to solve an issue, mm -hmm. or we fall in love with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Or then, you know, we got these sexual desires and issues, and then we end up, you know, having relationships with someone because of the sex, mm. you know, and, and that's not good. Yeah. And then next thing you know, we like in a pause, like, oh my God, what I don't done. Mm. Then that's when God comes about. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, so tell me, a relationship, finish this sentence for me, a relationship with God is? Love. Love. Oh, I like that, love. That's an aha moment right there, as, as Oprah would say. Um, and, and a relationship is, finish that. A relationship is trust. Mm -hmm. That's what a relationship is, it's it's trust. trust. You got to have wow. that trust in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. This the story in your book, you, you have moments where you're, you're happy, moments where you're sad. Uh, tell me some of the happy times you have in the book. The happy times is getting to know the girls. Mm -hmm. Those are the happy times. Mm -hmm. And getting to know them, getting to know who they are, and then talking to them about the issues of life. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of it's a lot of the girls, and then one of them is very feisty, mm -hmm. you know, which is Kendra. You know, she's she's my my yeah. bold type of girl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, she's my strong-willed type of girl. But uh -huh. then at the end, mm -hmm. you're gonna find out that she have the same problems that we have as women. Oh wow, wow! Mm -hmm. I see this part in, in the book. You say. Well, my husband loves flicks, uh, porn flicks. Uh, he loves them more than he loves me. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah. When a person have something in their life and they care and they and they love it more than you love the person that you truly are supposed to be loving, mm -hmm. it becomes more like their idol. They becomes it becomes more like a relationship with them. Mm. You know, and that was that issue. Wow. You know, and the husband in there, he would use the prone prones and uh -huh. the flicks mm -hmm. and want the wife to do the same thing. If not, you know, he'll re he'll return to that. Mm. You know? mm. Wow. Well uh I I and I know we got to go. We're 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 uh doing a little review right here on uh, sex, love, money, and then God. Here with the author, uh, Betty Jones, right here. And this, this is the last one that I, I want, because the book has so much in it. You really want to get the book. Um, says, the corn has two sides, one good and one bad. What do you mean by that? <laughs> that, that, sounds, that sounds very interesting. <laughs>
you know how that old folks say there's two sides to the coin. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> a good and a bad. And you know, I just, just I, I could use my book as an example. You know, mm -hmm. folks go, you know, why you why you use sex, love, money, then God. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to open up the book uh -huh. and see the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a good side and that's a bad side. Mm -hmm. There's a good side and a bad side in everything in life. Uh -huh. So that's what I mean about the coin. Wow, 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 wow. Well, there you have it right here. Here with Arthur Betty Jones, author of Sex, Love, Money, and Then God. Uh, where can they get the book? You could go to divinescommunications.com, www.divinescommunications.com. All right, so uh, make sure to go to what is divinescommunications.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, www.divinescommunication.com and get you a copy of this book if you want just a good um, dialogue type book where you know uh, especially for the ladies, the ladies who like to be uh, uh, in, in the sewing uh, clubs or you know in the salon and all you know this is a really good uh, book for you to check out right here. Hey R.S. Brown and so we got another interview coming here next of another author Mr. B.J. Major. B.J. Major uh, coming up next right here on Real Talk with R.S. Brown. The Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. Introducing the all-new Jamaican Me Happy Restaurant, 3213 Westboro Road, Augusta. Stop by today for some of the best oxtails, jerk and curry chicken, along with a variety of pork, goat, and fish dishes. We also offer a colorful selection of side dishes, soups, salads, desserts, and Jamaican beverages. Don't miss our $5 curry chicken special every Monday and Wednesday from 2 until 5 p.m. Visit AugustaJamaicanFood.com and call or place your order ahead at 706-739-5789. Hey, listen, R.S. Brown here, and I want to encourage you to check out the Real Talk with R.S. Brown radio show. Yes, did you know that? We have a radio show as well. It's on WAAW Shout 94.7 FM. Guess what time we come on? We come on Saturdays now, every Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. We got the first one. That's our Real Talk Hour, and the second hour is our Radar Hour. It's a lot of excitement in it. Check out Real Talk with R.S. Brown on WAAW Shout 94.7 FM. Sweet Moments Cafe, your one-stop shop for bubble tea, smoothie, Thai roll ice cream, wraps, and more. We have a student discount on Wednesdays, veterans discount every day, and bring your church bulletins for a discount on Sundays. We do catering, events, and parties. Visit us today at 106 Pleasant Home Road, Augusta, Georgia. I love Sweet Moments Cafe. It has the best rolled ice cream ever. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. Welcome back to Real Talk with R.S. Brown. And I'm here with B.J. Uh, Major here. And I we are at Sweet Moments Cafe. Got our smoothies. And I tell you what, they are mm -mm, delicious. I tell you, and now, today today's day we want to sit down. And get, get, I like a good read. And so I uh, want to show you some, uh, kind of introduce you to some good reads today. All right, how about that? We're going to do some good reads. And so I'm here uh, with BJ and BJM, BJM Ministries, <laughs> number one seller, Pursuing God's Peace. How about that? Um, and you're the writer of the book, right? You're, you're yeah. the author of yes, the book. Yes, I am. Um, and so tell us a little bit about the book. Well, the book is called The Pursuit of God's Peace. I wrote this book during a trying time in my life. Mm. And um, it's a book to kind of help others find peace for God themselves. And this book also gives just a little bit of my testimony. Mm. So um, basically the main focus of this book is to not only tell my story just a little bit, but to help others find peace in God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your story. Well, my story, well, when I was younger as a kid, you know, I was bullied, I was um, picked on a lot, and um, plus being a young man in ministry, you mm. know, at the time, yeah. you know, you, you're going to be different. Mm -hmm. You're going to be different. You're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. Um, I had my own struggles with, you know, health and stuff, and as I got older, I went through a few other things as I got older. and. After a few years ago, after going through a, um, a few problems in my life, that's when God, you know, gave me this book, The Pursuit of God's Peace, because mm -hmm. God always told me you're going to be an author one day, oh, DJ. Wow. Oh, wow. And I just did not realize that my first book was going to be The mm -hmm. Pursuit of God's Peace. And, wow. you know, he gave me the outline, and the book has been out now for a little over a year, and it's doing it. Wonderful, and it's touching a lot wow, of lives. Wow, wow. You mentioned, you know, you kind of went through some sickness. Um, and I see in the book you went through anxiety. Anxiety. Uh, you say, but, but you, you actually took a stand against anxiety. In your book um, on page 12, you say, um, take a stand against anxiety, and if you want to experience God's peace, prayer, 
let it be known to God. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean by that? Well, first of all, anxiety is basically a mind thing. Mm -hmm. You know, people get so nervous and be at unease when it comes to anxiety. That's basically what anxiety is. So when you realize what the problem is, you gotta make sure you take a stand against mm -hmm. it. And I got to a point in my life where I had to take a stand against anxiety. It's like, you know what, uh -uh, I'm not gonna let this anxiety when you know over me no more i'm not gonna yeah. let it weigh me down i'm gonna take a stand against anxiety and i'm gonna overcome this and through that i was able to even get to god's peace even quicker when i once i started to take a stand against mm -hmm. god's peace and since then you know i'm in a state of peace mm -hmm. what well, well, taking a stand how, how did what is taking a stand against anxiety how did you do that well first you know i pray mm -hmm. i pray about it i stay in god's word I separate myself from people that ain't helping me move forward. Mm. And I also, one big thing that I found challenging from the start is going after my goals and dreams truly because there's a lot of things I knew I needed to do but wasn't doing because I was letting anxiety hold me back. Oh, wow. And then all of a sudden, you know, I realized that, you know, in order for me to truly experience God peace, I'm going to really, I said, you know what I'm going to do is I'm not going to say I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to do this right now. So those are just a few of the things that I did to experience God's peace. And as you wow. read in the book, you're going to also see some more stuff, but that's just a little mm -hmm. bit. Just a little I want to give it all away, but that's just a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to go through and hit a couple of uh, points that throughout here and I wanted to you know definitely uh, mention about the you say ask for prayer asking for prayer is not a weakness um, tell, tell, us, tell us about that well asking for a lot of folks I have met over the years including myself I felt this way one time when you ask for prayer you know some people think that's like being desperate or being weak and that's not you know being weak asking for prayer is it's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. that actually shows that you need prayer and you need you know help you need guidance it's nothing wrong with, you know, asking someone, you know, pray for me. Yeah. Because you never know, you know, where that prayer can go to. You gotta step out on faith, basically. Mm -hmm. You gotta step out on faith. You can't be afraid of what, you know, what may or may not happen. You just gotta say, you know what, God, I'm gonna put in your hands, you know. I don't know exactly, you know, how to do this, but I'm gonna ask somebody who truly know the power of prayer to pray mm -hmm. for me. And you just gotta, you know, go and ask somebody to pray for you. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be worried about being ashamed or feeling weak. Mm -hmm. That actually shows that you have strength. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, period. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to prayer, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Saying, you know what, I need prayer. I need help, because I realize I can't do this by myself. So that's basically what I meant by that line in that book. Oh, wow, wow. Finish, finish this one. Um, faith is, finish that sentence for me. Faith is what you believe in. What you seek your, what you get, where you get your strength from. Mm. What do you believe in? And also from that, I want to say this. You know, how can your faith help you to move to where you need to be at? Uh. So that's something you know to just throw out there when it comes to faith. What you believe in? How can your faith help you to get to where you need to be? You say in the book, page seventeen, that this was an aha moment for me. Uh, prayer is not about the length of time that you pray, but about the sincerity. Um, from your heart, of your heart. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that. That was an aha moment for me. That was powerful. So tell us about that. Because prayer don't have to be super long. One thing I always teach when it comes to prayer, and this is biblical, mm -hmm. you got to be sincere, you got to be real, mm -hmm. and you got to be open, and you got to make sure that whatever comes out of your heart, heart is not it's not only out of your heart but out of your soul too and you know it makes you gotta make sure that prayers come out your heart your soul and not just your mouth you gotta make sure you know you know who you're talking to and what you are expecting mm -hmm. don't worry about it okay it's not a long prayer you know it's a short prayer you know as long as it's real mm -hmm. and it's true that's the only thing that matters at the end of this. So there's nothing, you know there's no such thing as a long prayer or a short prayer as long as your prayer is getting through and it's sincere mm -hmm. it's all good so the, so, the, so the title of the book is Pursuing God's Peace. I'm here with BJ um, uh, Major here. Now, tell me, it finishes, God's peace is? God's peace is a peace that no human being on this earth possesses. Only God possesses mm -hmm. it. And in order to experience it, you got to let go and let God have his way in order for you to truly experience mm -hmm. this special kind of peace. Because mm -hmm. God's peace is so different from any peace you can probably get from a human being. Yeah. It surpasses all understanding. Wow, wow. Once again, we're here at Sweet Moments Cafe um, right here on Washington Road. And uh, one of our great sponsors here, and, and they allowed us to come in, you know, kind of sit and talk about God's peace a little bit. Uh, and, and I want to go back, you know, I know we got to cut to commercial break in a second, but I want to go back and uh, see. You say God's, um, having God's peace doesn't exempt, doesn't um, make you immune. Um, to life's ups and downs. 
Um, but it, it makes a big difference in how you react to the challenge. Um, tell, tell us about that, you know. Well, here's the thing about God's peace. Is that when you are pressing forward to try to experience mm -hmm. God's peace, that doesn't mean you ain't going to have problems. You're going to still have problems. Mm. The going is going to get tougher, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you just got to remember, you are heading somewhere. Yeah. And as long as you keep moving forward, you know everything going to work out at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But don't, that, I don't want people to be confused, and I don't, I don't want them to think, you know, I'm saying, you know, okay, that mean I ain't gonna experience problems. You're gonna mm -hmm. experience problems. But yeah. as long as you keep your focus, stay on the Lord, you will succeed. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. will succeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, there they you have it right there. Um, hey, hold on one second right there. It was a little loud just a moment ago, but uh, I cut that. All right, three, two, one. Well, I tell you what, well, there you have it. Uh, we're here at Sweet Moments Cafe. We're talking about God's peace. Uh, pursuing God's Peace with uh, B.J. Major. Where can they get the book? You can get the book on barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. Just type in The Pursuit of God's Peace and you will find it. There you have you heard right here first on Real Talk with R.S. Brown. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. Kendrick's Clearing and Holly. We are located at 1247 New Savannah Road, Augusta, Georgia. We do land and lot clearing, demolition, and roll-off rental. We are still doing the job right for 35 years. You can reach us at 706-722-4409. Again, it's 706-722-4409. A Brighter Beginning Child Care Center, located at 3423C Deans Bridge Road, where your children have a brighter beginning. You can contact us at 706-793-9776. Sweet Moments Cafe, your one-stop shop for bubble tea, smoothie, Thai roll ice cream, wraps, and more. We have a student discount on Wednesdays, veterans discount every day, and bring your church bulletins for a discount on Sundays. We do catering, events, and parties. Visit us today at 106 Pleasant Home Road, Augusta, Georgia. I love Sweet Moments Cafe. It has the best rolled ice cream ever. Introducing the all-new Jamaican Me Happy Restaurant, 3213 Westboro Road, Augusta. Stop by today for some of the best oxtails, jerk and curry chicken, along with a variety of pork, goat, and fish dishes. We also offer a colorful selection of side dishes, soups, salads, desserts, and Jamaican beverages. Don't miss our $5 curry chicken special every Monday and Wednesday from 2 until 5 p.m. Visit AugustaJamaicanFood.com and call and place your order ahead at 706-739-5789. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Real Talk Show. All right, welcome back. We're still here at Sweet Moments uh, Cafe. And uh, as you see, my smoothie is gone because I've drunk it all up. But um, I'm here with Pastor Lee. Met Pastor Lee just while I was sitting here doing the interview. And uh, Pastor Lee, you're a pastor uh, for Vietnamese inside of uh, First Baptist Church, right? Right, correct. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the church. Um, Vietnamese Church get sponsored by First Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. uh, we get blessing. Mm -hmm. The First Baptist Church have a willing big heart mm -hmm. to give us facility mm -hmm. and uh, provide for us everything we need oh, for wow. mission for Vietnamese people. Mm -hmm. So I become the pastor of uh, Vietnamese Baptist Church because God calling me. Mm -hmm. uh, he called me when I am only deacon of the church. Wow. I deacon of Korea church and Vietnamese church, two church wow. with my wife Korea. Mm, oh, uh, wow. So I, that time, I become deacon with two church. Mm. You know, the funny thing is that I never have a thought about I become the pastor. Mm -hmm. But I don't like become the pastor. Mm -hmm. It's too much responsibility. I see the pastor yeah. life not really yeah. grateful. Mm -hmm. uh, always very, very hard, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I never like to become the pastor. Mm -hmm. But you know what? What else God calling you? He have a plan for you. He keep calling you until you say, I'm surrender. Yeah. That's why I'm surrender. Yeah. I become the pastor because God want me to be. Mm -hmm. And also, the, when I become pastor only, I feel so wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. a blessing. Not mm -hmm. only my blessing, blessing, blessing me, but blessing for all the people. Mm -hmm. Too many things, too many people get saved because of that way. 
Yeah. So, t so tell me, so at, at the church, uh, what are some of the things you guys do uh, at the church? Do you guys have a, like, kind of like a separate Vietnamese uh, service or anything like that? Or how, how does that work? Yes. Um, in the First Baptist Church, we serve only Vietnamese church right now, Vietnamese okay. people right now. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes we come by church from uh, with uh, American congregation. Okay. Uh, but regular, we are only Vietnamese mm -hmm. mission. Okay. Inside for Baptist Church, mm -hmm. uh, but right now my uh, uh, congregation, uh, me and Pastor Ling, Pastor Ling is a senior pastor in okay. Vietnamese Church. Okay. I am the, 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 the just like a uh, associate pastor with mm -hmm. the Vietnamese Church. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are the handle for Vietnamese Church. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we have a member around, I think about sixty people. Okay. Yeah. All right, so th for, for those who are new to the area, Vietnamese, you know, how can they come into the church? Um, at one part of the mission, we go out mm -hmm. uh, to see the people where they're working, mm -hmm. uh, what area they're working. Mm -hmm. So we're beginning to come over there to talk with them okay. and invite them to the church. Mm -hmm. uh, and one part of uh, sometimes uh, we go to the friend, mm -hmm. their friend, and we uh, call them and we make sure we talk with them, invite them to church. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, youth people, we try to uh, use uh, the youth believer mm -hmm. and uh, get together mm -hmm. with them oh, and wow. uh, make a friend with them. Mm. When the youth coming, mm -hmm. that means parents coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why the way we uh, poor people, we poor people go inside the church. Yeah. The first of all, they don't know much the law, yeah. but uh, you know, when they coming, uh, beginning to hear the message, so they beginning to touch. But the most of the Vietnamese people in this area is the Buddha, but not the Christian. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. So how? Can, well, let's give them a second. All right. Three, two, one. So how can they? Uh, so, so what time is your service, and and where's the location and all? Uh, the we serve it from eleven o'clock. In the morning, and location is at 3500 Watergate Attention. Okay, yeah. all right. First Baptist Church, big first, one. First Baptist Church, so make yeah. sure you check out First Baptist Church right here. I'm here with Pastor Lee, R.S. Brown. We'll be back. Well, I guess what I hope you enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed bringing this show to you. Real Talk with R.S. Brown has just been on your TV. Make sure you tune in every week with us as we bring you more and more great local information that you can use. With some news you can use, how about that? If better is possible, good is not good enough. So be in the zone of better. Don't just be great, be the greatest. R.S. Brown, and I'm signing off. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Oh, what you say now? It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Man, I ain't got nothing but real talk for you. It's the Real Talk Show with R.S. Brown. Hold up, man. We got to start the show. It's the Real Talk Show.